The Bible browser helps you make discoveries in the biblical text without having to memorize or look up a bunch of complicated search syntax. Filter biblical passages by grammatical or literary features, key topics or terms, by who's speaking or being spoken to, by significant events like miracles, and so much more. Let's say you're studying Ephesians when you read a familiar picture, the church is the body of Christ. How would you find out more about how Paul talks about this picture? While you could run a specific search with detailed syntax, the Bible browser lets you find the same information in a more visual way. Open the Tools menu and search for the Bible browser to open it in a new tab. The left-hand panel offers a variety of live filters grouped by category. Type Paul in the search field to show all filters connected to the Apostle. I'll select Paul as the author of any text. Every text authored by Paul shows in the content area and the remaining filter options adjust to match the current selection. Next, I'll search for body to reveal several options for filtering. The browser shows literary types, things, senses, and more related to this word. Hovering over any filter provides more information about the filter. Under the category figurative language, body of Christ as believers is present 28 times in Paul's writing. Logos has enriched the biblical text with rich tagging, like referent data, word sense, and semantic roles. Because one body is tagged with this figurative sense, it shows in the list, even though church or Christ do not appear in the verse. By default, the browser shows your filtered results in your preferred Bible version, though you can choose another version from the drop-down menu. This tool also includes access to two powerful features in your Logos Bibles, visual filters and the fact book. Let's enable the corresponding words visual filter on click and set it to check for the same lemma. This is a helpful way to see other important themes mentioned in these verses. First, notice how Paul talks about diversity in unity with this image. Clicking on members and scrolling the verses shows how often the differing members or parts contribute to the whole of the church. Similarly, the topic of oneness or unity is constantly referenced by the apostle. It seems Paul often speaks about the body of Christ as a community of diverse, unified believers. Notice how the verse, Romans 12.4, cuts off in the middle of the thought. Although Romans 12.5 shows as well, this might not always be the case. So for broader context, change the browser settings to pericope instead of verse. This will both broaden the search and give a better idea of the context for each result. Let's take one more step to narrow the study. Expand the People section and choose Jesus to show only pericopes that match all three filters, and then I'll type Ephesians to jump to the results in the book of Ephesians, which contains seven of the 11 results. The fact book is another powerful feature accessible from within the Bible browser. It's the quickest way to learn more about a topic. Click the icon to underline words in your filtered results that reference fact book entries. Clicking on body opens the full fact book entry that surfaces articles, media, key passages, original language tools, and so much more. The key article offers quick access to a dictionary entry on the body of Christ. The summary at the top shows four categories for the topic in the New Testament. As we saw in the initial study, Paul's main emphasis is the body as the community of Christian believers. Finally, let's return to the Bible browser and save the filtered passages for study at a later time. Click the Send To button and select Passage List Document. Logos automatically saves the passage list and helpfully names it according to the filters you set. If you prefer a different name, click the title and rename it. The Bible browser gives you access to all the powerful indexed data in Logos and an easy-to-understand interface.